Hi, it's Fourth Act Extreme Movies Broadcast. I'm speaking with Laura Turner Seidel. Hi, Laura. How are you? Great, Paul. Great to talk with you. Laura is a friend of the news broadcast, but she does tremendous work in many, many different areas. Uh, and we also have Patrick Nye on. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Hi, I'm doing very well. We're just meeting Patrick. Patrick is running a, a nonprofit called Bonneville Environmental Foundation. And, and Laura is a, uh, a national environmental, international, I would say, environmentalist. Uh, Echo Living, she built a, a new home, all environmentally friendly. She won many boards. And her daughter is such an, another wonderful person doing good things for the world. And we're going to learn today about uh, renewable energy and energy credits and sustainable energy and so on and so forth. But and, and a nice outreach that a good corporate, uh, socially responsible company such Joy is doing. So I guess, why don't you guys take it? Okay, well, we're, we're talking to you today from Horizon Wind's uh, Prairie Star Wind Project in Minnesota. And this is a, a wind farm with 61 turbines that produces enough clean, renewable energy to power about 30,000 homes annually. Yay. Yay! He, yeah. He's uh, Patrick Nye, the wind farm guy. Yes. Okay. It's all good. And uh, Patrick, so tell us uh, uh, how you got involved with uh, wind farms. Well, I, I've been with Bonneville Environmental Foundation for about six years, and uh, we're a, a nonprofit foundation with the mission of investing in and supporting additional renewable energy. But we're unique in the world of nonprofits in that we earn our own endowment through selling renewable energy certificates or carbon offsets from wind and solar power. Um, and so my job is to, to make sales to individuals and companies and utilities around the country in order to support more renewable energy and to green our grid. Well, how does this all work, uh, you know, carbon footprint and, uh, and uh, these uh, RECs? How does it literally work? Well, could, could I, you know, can I be involved with it? Absolutely. Uh, we've, we've actually made it easy for you. And so, um, you know, you mentioned the carbon footprint. What that means is that uh, an individual can look at the impacts associated with their everyday activities. Things like how much electricity you use, how many miles you drive, air miles from flights, things like that all have uh, a certain amount of greenhouse gas emissions associated with them. And so your footprint is, is the amount that you're responsible for through your own activities. And so that would be your carbon footprint. And then on the other side, you can do things to reduce that footprint, Th things like energy conservation, or for those things you can't avoid, you can do offsets. And that's what a renewable energy certificate provides is that opportunity to support a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions somewhere else in the world, such as putting in a wind turbine instead of burning coal or natural gas to reduce emissions. And, and it's your dollars through that certificate that allows that wind farm to happen, to create that environmental benefit. So it's a very easy one-to-one -one program. Okay, so for example, we have just built a green renewable uh, TV studio. Everybody in this building is uh, related to something green, environmentally friendly, and the owner of the building wants to put in, you know, solar energy into the building. So, what would what can he uh, gain in that sense besides a cake, I can imagine, Mother Earth? Well, well, by doing your own on-site uh, renewable energy, such as solar, you you gain the advantage of. Um, you know, producing your own power and having a, a steady cost for your electricity over time, one that will even get paid off in, in a fairly short amount of time these days, whereas is the rest of us may be subject to, you know, fuel costs and spikes in, in the market. Okay. Laura, how did you get involved with this? Well, um, you know, I just love to advocate for the simple things that we all can do to make a difference. And, uh, you know, Part of my spiel is uh, vote, voting with your checkbook at the at the grocery store. You know the trip that we all have to make. Uh, you know every every so often, and they're just uh, the table in front of me has a lot of great uh, products uh, that uh, are from companies that are focusing on sustainability that we need to support. Uh, some of them you probably are doing in your own home and in your green studio, uh, but. You know, we've got our compact fluorescent bulbs that, of course, use a lot less energy than incandescent and save you money. 
Um, there's a green caps for green energy program from Silt Soy Milk. Um, and there's a, a website, siltsoymilk.com, that you can go on and uh, find out more about uh, how, as a consumer, you can help uh, uh, green the energy grid uh, through uh, wind power credits. Um, then also we've got the, the aluminum reusable, refillable uh, water bottles, so you know, you're not sending tons of uh, plastic water bo bottles to a landfill where there uh, isn't recycling. Of course, we hope you're recycling. And then the age-old question, paper versus plastic, well, now you can do your uh, shopping and uh, pack it all up in a reusable canvas bag. Uh, we've got other products here, too, green cleaning products. You know, now there's pet waste bags that are compostable and, uh, you know, dissolve in the landfill, which is great if you have a pet. And uh, just, you know, we all have to do our part, and that's one easy way to do it is, uh, you know, buying these uh, more earth-friendly products at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And overall, just uh, the famous mantra of reduce, reuse, recycle. And reclaim. The four R's. Okay. Yeah. I see here that somebody could win a, a green home makeover on the silk uh, that's uh, soy milk uh, uh, dot com website, which we'll link over to. That's right. So, so silk is a, a green powered company. So they offset all the electricity they use, just as a company. But now they're engaging the public, and and for each green cap carton that's entered through that silk soy dot com website, they'll offset one day's worth of, of energy with wind for your household. So they're, they're greening the grid on your behalf, and by entering, you're also entered into their drawing for a green home makeover. Which is really cool. A lot of uh, uh, Earth-friendly appliances. Uh, Energy Star, I'm sure you probably have some of those in your, your office building and your home as well. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you see the, the future? Laura, I know you since you've been doing this and you had a TV show and you know you're so involved with the community. I'd love to get if you want to be on a great the email list or go to Leon Morris because her newsletter. I think a, a lot of them are just what's happening in Atlanta, uh, the good people doing good things down there, right? Well, some of that and uh, others are just great articles that that you know I've I've researched and people have sent me that uh, deal with a varying. Um, a variety of different environmental subjects, um, you know, from renewable energy to, you know, companies going green to toxics in the environment and how they affect our health. But um, it's, it's all really important information. But what I would really like to see happen, um, and I think it's our moral imperative as a mother of three, uh, you know, what happens with my children and my grandchildren and future generations is uh, really important and for us to get to where we need to be and rectify some of the the uh, problems that we're creating our, for ourselves uh, we've got to uh, green our energy grid and uh, invest and and use and promote renewable energy uh, wind is part of that and uh, solar is part of that geothermal um, so the sooner that we can get there the better off we're all going to be and we're going to be, be able to reduce our carbon footprint and em emissions that are causing our planet to change and, and warm. And your your home, the Echo Manor, the, uh, to pull that all together, the yes. wise thing, right? You're happy about it? Uh, we're very happy with our home. Um, you know, we, it was a very stringent environmental certification known as LEED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. We were the pilot project. And we do use uh, a good deal of renewable energy. We have solar panels on our roof. Uh, we were the first to combine solar with geothermal and, uh, you know, in this country. And it's worked out really well with all the other efficiencies that we have going. And, um, you know, we've been able to build that website. I don't know if you checked it out, ecomanner.com, uh -huh, yeah. that, uh, you know, tell everybody, you know, the simple things that we did to the more cutting edge, uh, technologically uh, forward uh, uh, products and, uh, you know, materials and, and you know, so I, I think we've tried to share a blueprint, our blueprint for building this house with, with others. Uh -huh. Patrick, tell us about Sky Green. 
Oh, it's actually uh, Ski Green. Oh, and, yeah. and this is uh, <laughs> this is a program where we've gotten uh, ski resorts on board with renewable energy. Um, it started with Mount Hood Meadows, uh, local to, to Portland, um, but is now at 21 resorts across the West and even one on the East Coast. So this is where ski resorts are greening part of their own operations, maybe a lift chair or something. But they're also engaging the public uh, the same way that Silk is. So uh, when you go to your favorite ski resort, look for Ski Green and contribute an extra $2 to support more renewable energy and offset your drive to your favorite resort. Okay, yeah, we did a show on that on Vail. They're doing had a lot of outreaches in that regard. So it's That's all good, it's great. But I'd like to both and invite both of you to be on our show called the Water Hour, in addition to this interview, whenever you're here in New York. We have done now 36 hours on the subject of water and environmental. It reminds us of the kinds of things. Actually, Laura, we, we, you're on it already many times, because you send me a lot of information that I share. And uh, here again, once again, we're, uh, you know, a little leaders in, in, in what's going on. So we're going to send people over to Silk Story Milk. Uh, uh, Patrick, you have a website too, right? The That's B right. It's b-e-f.org. Okay. And Laura, is there any that you'd like our audience to uh, link on to? Well, I mean, I, I just uh, wanted just to talk for just briefly about how Patrick is working with, you know, with the Captain Planet Foundation. We like to focus on educating youth um, and uh, through hands-on environmental project mm -hmm. projects. And and Patrick is actually doing a lot of that with solar energy in the schools uh, built around curriculum. And I just wanted him, before we sign off, to tell you a little bit about that oh, because please, it's please. really important to, uh, to educate children. Um, it is their future, and they've got to be a part of the solution. So what, what, what's actually, actually, we just did a big story on PF6 here in Manhattan, which makes your school a uh, uh, you know, green friendly as well. So maybe there's some tie-in we can do to one of the leading public schools here in New York. Yeah, that, that would be great. So this is, is part of our, our mission as a foundation. We take the dollars from those those renewable energy offsets we sell, and, in, and one of the projects we invest in is called Solar for Our Schools. And there's a website, solar, the number four, the letter R, schools.org, where we're donating solar systems along with a web interface, a curriculum, teacher training, everything to schools around the country uh, for um, kids to get exposure with the energy system, understand where electricity comes from, and what some of the choices they'll face as they become adults and, and start to get involved with the, the electricity system. Great. I love it. I'm definitely going to put you together with the PS6 people. Thank you. It's uh, really great. Well, it's education and then it's application, right? That's right. Well, you both are uh, affiers of, of what you believe in. And, uh, that's anything else we should share right now? Well, I, I, I don't have anything. It's just no. uh, great that you took the time out to interview us today, and we're really excited about sharing the information. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in New York. Okay, great, Lori. All right. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. For sharing a lot of good news and keep up the good work, however we can help or, uh, uh, in essence, uh, let our audience and community know. You have heard them ask to make some channels on the bunch of other Zeus and iTunes and so on and so forth. So the word is going to get out to more people now. So I'll be happy to share whatever we have uh, with them. Great. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Paul. Bye-bye. Take care, Laura. Bye-bye. Thank you.